Hey everyone, it's Michelle from The Vegan Hippie, and today I'm making for you a chickpea avocado kind of salad. I saw this, um, I didn't, I don't, I'm not even sure who posted this last week, but um, looked really good, and it's chickpeas and an avocado with some uh, cilantro and uh, some spices, so I tried it. And it was really good so this is my version of it you need one can of chickpeas rinsed and drained and um, you can do one avocado or two I'm gonna do two because these need to get used so I'm gonna hopefully these are still good Yeah, that one is good and you can tell oh I threw the nub out the stem can you see where it came from the tree the stem if you take the stem off and it's green like this it, it it's a good avocado if it's black don't even cut it open because it's gonna be nasty and if it's like white then it's not ready yet But that's a little tip for you. That one is good too. You can already tell it's nice and soft as well. Okay. So you don't even have to cut them. You know how you dice them in avocado? And then scoop it out. I'm just going to scoop it out because it's all going to get mashed in the bowl. And if you have one big avocado, that should be good too. And even, or just one, one small one is fine. Whatever you like, just a good way to uh, get rid of the avocado. We got a bad spot in there. And then um, I'm gonna I'm gonna mash this up now to make sure everything gets mashed up. Chickpeas are kind of hard. You can also, if you want, um, toss your chickpeas. In a food processor and just like pulse it one or two times to get it crumbly that would work too oh well that's good enough doesn't have to be completely mashed down so now I'm going to uh, chop some fresh cilantro another tip for you if you don't want to keep your cilantro in your fridge what I always do, I put it in a mason, mason jar with some water and then just keep it on the counter and it stays fresh. This is, you can see how much I have just fits in my hand and just chop it up. Oh, it smells so good. Can you smell it? Oh, cilantro. All right, we'll just toss that in there. I'm going to put a pinch, a pinch or two of black pepper. My favorite, if you don't have adobo, you can use salt by all means. And so if you have fresh parsley, you could put fresh parsley in there, but I'm using parsley flakes. And 
And just remember, when you use dried herbs, they're concentrated, so you need less. Okay? Oh, I forgot. I have some, um, Well, I'm sorry, dried chives I want to put in here. If you have fresh chives, that will work too. We need all ours. I think a little lemon juice would look, uh, would be good at this to freshen it up. Let me get a lemon. I'm already cut. I'm just gonna cut a little bit off. on rice cakes but uh, the store did not have any so I'm trying these today they're really good uh, Mary's Gone Crackers they are vegan and non-GMO gluten free if you care about that they kind of remind me of um, like a rye crisp some tomato. I'm going to put half a tomato on there. And time for a taste. Sorry if I'm crunching. The crackers are loud, but they are so good, and this is so good. The lemon juice really freshened it up. You don't need a lot. Just a little. You could put this on, like I said, rice cakes. Or crackers. Or tortilla chips, whatever you like. But this is going to be a little snack for me. So uh, I'm going to plate this up and enjoy my snack. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe uh, for more videos and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video. And um, check me out on my other social medias. Um, I have a Facebook page. I have a Twitter account. I have uh, Instagram. I'm also on Vegan Amino. I've been there, uh, it's been over a year, maybe almost two years, I can't remember, but yeah, um, and thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video, peace.